So you are a beginner and you just started editing with CapCut. Now you want to compete with AE editors and go viral like them. So you make an edit and upload, but... Do me a favor, please. Get out of here. Get out of here, man! Well, don't vanish, man. Because in this video, I will explain you three ways to make your edits smoother and get viral on TikTok and YouTube. And I promise after watching this video, your edit's going to 10x better if you follow these simple steps to your edits. But before we start, if you are new to my channel and want more videos like this, give it like and subscribe to me. So if you are beginner, then first thing you should know and clear is Twixter. Like I really mean it. I saw many editors don't use Twixter on their edits or they don't know what is it. Twixter is a video plugin used in After Effects, Premiere Pro, and many other softwares, like it's a tool that smooths out slow motion videos by adding extra frames, making the motion look natural and fluid. In mobile, we can do similar. There is in CapCut, we got speed option where you can make it. Let's see how to do it. So basically here we had two options for Twixter. First is curve, which is advanced, and second is normal. Let's talk about what is the uses of both start with normal one. So here we got a slider to control speed of the video. For Twixter, you need to slow down the clip. So slow down it to 0.4x or 0.3x would be enough, depends how long is your clip. After this, adjust the clips with beats. Apply this better quality for smooth Twixter. Here you can see without and with Twixter comparison. Now next is speed curves. Well, they already set pre-graph templates, but to be honest, all these are trash. So we're gonna use the custom curves. Since you are a beginner, I will recommend you to make Woodle style edits, which is simple and looks cool. Here's some curves that you can apply to your edit. This one is fast to slow, slow to fast, fast to slow, and again fast. You can use these graphs mainly on movie, sports, and anime edits. Beside of that, if you edit car videos or speed ramp, just simply watch this video for basic understanding. Anyways, let's make an edit using all these information. Now here I have my clips ready. Now I'm gonna do is select the custom curve. Wait, you might be thinking, this guy telling me how to make Twixter, but all these things are now pro. How the heck I even use this? Well, here's I come again. If you don't know, I have a Telegram channel where I share my upcoming updates and lots of more things that you need if you know you know, right? So you can join my channel for more details. Now I'm going with fast to slow curve, which I think would be perfect for this type of clip. Now after this, scale the clip according to beats and apply this better quality and you are done. Here's the difference between normal and curved Twixter. Graph controls the speed of animations between two keyframes, making movements smoother and more dynamic. In CapCut, you will see preset graphs like ease in and out, quad in and out, flow two, bounce and many. These are usually used on smooth zoom in and out. To make a zooms on your clips like I said before, you need to add two keyframes to the start and at the end of the clip. Now head to the basics and scale the clip up to 70, 80 point at the starting key. This is called zoom out. If you wanna make zoom in, just reverse it. Scale the end key. Now to apply graph on your clip, Go to graphs, choose either flow 2 or do a custom graph. Let me show you. I personally don't use preset graphs for zooms. Instead, you can use this graph for smooth zooms. So yeah, I use this graph on my most of zooms. A tip for you guys, if your clips are like really short, like less than 0.5 second, on that case, you don't need to use any of these graphs because the clip is already too short and no one can able to catch the flow. Optical flow is a motion interpolation technique that makes video smooth by generating additional frames between existing ones. In CapCut, you can enable this feature when you about to export your project. Here you can see an example how it fixed the video. Just enable this option and you are done. Now after making your smooth Twixter edit, 
If you don't add any additional effects on your edit, it will be pity, right? That's why I suggest you to two professional looking effects that can stand out your video even more. First one is Tremor Strobe. By applying this effect on your edit creates the intense flow. Secondly, I will recommend you is Camera Shake. Follow up my adjustment to get the best result. Here you can see how two different effects make this video even better. Second bonus is 120 FPS. Lastly, I will suggest you to make your video 120 FPS. For Twixter, it means more frames per second, making slow motion smoother and less glitchy. Since there's no option for 120 FPS in CapCut, we will use Motion Ninja, another underrated app that I can tell. Here you can find many features, but we will talk about it in another video. Now for 120 FPS, tap on Frame Doubler and select your file. Tap on Double. Here move the bitrate up to 24 Mbps. Remember, the higher your resolution, the more bitrate you need. As example, if your video is 1080p 120fps, then aim for 30 to 50 mbps. If 4K 120fps, then aim at 100 to 200 mbps. I hope you learned something from this video and gonna implement it to your next edit. Again, if want more like these videos, like and subscribe. I will see you in the next video soon.